Hi, it's so great to be back here with Carol. And what are we cooking today? Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a traditional sticky date um, pudding uh, with a salted caramel sauce. Delicious. Yum! So do I get to taste test that afterwards? Absolutely. My yeah. favourite part. And they're really easy. <laughs> great. Yep. Now, you can't have a sticky date pudding without the dates. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't like chopping. Like me. Well, or they don't want to cut their finger, they don't want like to use, <laughs> they don't want to use a knife and a chopping board. Have a little pair of little handy scissors in the kitchen, just used for cooking. And just snip away instead of chopping them. It makes life so much easier. Great tip, Carol. So there you go, <laughs> boom, boom, done. Okay, so once we've chopped the dates, um, we, uh, which there is 250 grams weighed of dates, mm -hmm. um, what we do is we add one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, otherwise known as carb soda. It's not baking powder, it's bicarbonate of soda. So the, I'll Slightly explain that. Oven? Yes, yeah. they are. Okay, all right. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to sprinkle that over the dates. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, easy yep. peasy. Then what we do is we get a cup of boiling water, Scoopy. and we pour that over the dates. Oh, very so, exact and there. Mm, yeah, okay. people take a milliliter or yeah, two. Yeah. Don't ever be scared of cooking. Um, it, you know, if you can be as accurate as you can, it's all good. So we just kind of, yeah, let that sit mm -hmm. and. They will soften for 10 minutes. Okay. And yeah. I can do that much. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this is such an easy recipe. Excellent. So. <laughs> cool. So while the dates are softening, you can get 125 grams of butter. And if it's soft or room temperature, it's going to melt quicker into the date. So I've actually just chopped up um, 125 grams. And as you can see, yeah. it's just in there. <laughs> and just sort of like, you know, stir it in a little bit uh, with that hot water and the dates and just let it continue um, to soften sort of and, soften yeah, and melt. Yeah. And so then it's ready to blitz after that with a stick blender. Mm, okay, this will be good. It's really not complicated. It's no. just like add, add, zzz, Yep, and away you go. Pour in, <laughs> bake, and then eat. Yay. <laughs> Awesome. So the butter has actually um, melted in with the hot water, the, the uh, carb soda and the dates. And we're just going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, which is actually stronger mm. than vanilla essence. Oh, okay. Yep, so this one's a, so yep. like a syrup, it's a lot richer. Mm. So we're going to add two teaspoons of that. Don't be shy, nice and generous. Mm -hmm. And that's done. And we're also going to add in the sugars. So we have Yum. got, um, okay, so this one is the quarter of a cup of soft brown sugar. So you can see it's nice and soft and squidgy yep. and molassesy and mm -hmm. yummy. So that can go in, that's already pre-measured. And we will also be putting in half a cup of caster sugar. And that's the caster sugar. Mm -hmm. Caster sugar is yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's basically just like regular granulated sugar, but it's finer. Yep. So that goes so in. So if you were stuck and you didn't have... Just like, use granular sugar, can, it's yep, fine. Okay. Just normal right. sugar, like yep. you put in your tea yep. and coffee yep. and Milo and whatever. you know when you get through your recipe and you're like, seriously, I haven't got the right sugar. So yep. that's good to know. Yeah, right. exactly. Because it's, it's yeah. So It'll do the job. <laughs> it, it will do the job, exactly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give that a little blitz and um, so these things can suction cup. We don't want that, so we hold it on a slight angle. So, oh, did it get you? The wonderful world of cooking. Okay, so you can wear an apron with this if you want. You can also 
also do this in a food processor if you wish, just remembering to scrape down the sides. So it doesn't have to be, you know, that's just, it's, it's just not chunky anymore. So okay. yeah, so it doesn't okay. have to be super smooth, it's still got a bit of texture. Yeah, you, you can, yeah. You can okay. see that a bitsy yeah, bit, a bitsy great. bit, yep, yeah. yeah. done. Okay, so what I've done now is everything's all blitzed or pureed and I'm just transferring it to a bigger bowl so that we can add the flour in. So, and also the eggs. Awesome. So we're just going to break. Oh, you're right. Yep, Thank I'll you. <laughs> so we're going to break three eggs and just give them a little bit of a uh, light whisk with a fork and then add them in there. And um, add the flour, give it a good mix and it's done. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we've just um, beaten up the three eggs and we will put that into the mix. Just give it a little bit of a scrape. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Yum, 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 yum. So, done. And we are also going to dump in the two cups of self-raising okay. flour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't have self-raising flour, you can use um, a, a heaped teaspoon mm -hmm. of baking powder and yeah. two cups of plain flour. Mm -hmm. But do sift it um, and it just helps uh, aerate it just a little bit. So, I mean, you know, just give it a little kind of, it doesn't have to. Boom, boom, done. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we also add, oh, well, I'm adding some slivered almonds. Yum, yep, that sounds good. Now, you mm. can add pecans, mm -hmm. chopped okay. pecans, yep. or you yep. can add chopped almonds. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer uh, uh, pecans or walnuts, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, pref yeah. I prefer yep. the almonds. Um, so they go in on top of the flour, and then that way the flour will coat them and they won't sink to the bottom. Oh, okay, all right, so you put them on top of the flour then. Yep, and then we just mix this all together and it will all come together and then it's all done. And then we use an ice cream scoop to scoop this into some greased um, muffin tins. Okay, great. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what we've done is we've mixed the dry ingredients into the wet pureed mixture. And you can see how light and fluffy yeah, that looking, mixture is. Mm, very and edible. And it smells delicious. Mm. Yum. <laughs> it's pretty good to eat. So then we're going to use an ice cream scoop just for portion control. Makes it so much Do easier. Do you have to spray it or not? Um, no. No, okay. no, not at all. Right, cool. And we've got our pretty little pink trays here. <laughs> yes, they don't match everything, but they they're gonna they're gonna be pretty awesome. They're pink. <laughs> <laughs> I love pink. I like neutrals, but that's okay. That's cool. We're, we're so still buds. <laughs> now I'm going to actually just use a little bit of spray nonstick mm -hmm. and these. So I'm going to do it over the sink, um, just so that um, I don't get it everywhere. Yeah. Now this mixture makes about. Um, 16 or 17, so you'll need to use two trays or just wait till it cools down and then. That's really good, 16 or 17. Puddings. That's massive. Yep. Yeah, that's not a lot of ingredients for that. Yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. So what we do now is super easy. Use an ice cream scoop. Mm -hmm. So the portion control. Which portion is great. controlled, yep. so you don't have to pour it or spoon it. I love that because I'm so, so clumsy um, with spoons and things. So ice cream scoop, great tip. <laughs> it's just such an easy tip that I can give you. I do this with all my cake batters, mm -hmm. um, okay. and it just it works a treat. Mm. So. Awesome, so this mixture actually made 16, and this is what they look like in mm. the tray, ready to go, nice and fluffy. That was so quick, I couldn't believe how quick that was. It's oh, yeah. super <laughs> easy recipe, trust me, mm. really delicious excellent, and easy. Um, we're going to bake these in a preheated oven, um, 180 degrees, uh, for 15 minutes. Okay. Now we've just put the sticky date puddings into the oven, mm -hmm. and while they're baking for that 15 minutes, yeah. 
Um, we're going to make the salted caramel sauce, which is delicious. <laughs> so for that, we need one cup of soft brown sugar. So in it goes, pre-measured. Beautiful. And for it to be salted caramel, of course, we use a little bit of salt. Now I've just got some pink Himalayan here, but you can just mm -hmm. use normal white salt. Okay. Yep. It's not a problem. Now I've got just under a quarter of a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. So in it goes. And the butter that I have been using today in the recipe, I always use unsalted butter. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you know, you can use salted, but then you probably wouldn't need to add the salt. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, I always use unsalted. Mm -hmm. So that is 125 grams of butter. And we also add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. So one, two, yum, yum, yum. Delicious. <laughs> and we also add in one 300 ml punnet of cream. Oh good, that's nice and easy. Okay, yeah. so you just mm -hmm. empty it out. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We put it all in these cute little bowls, so yeah. that's pretty. <laughs> of course. So, but um, you can just, yeah. So in it goes. So we're just gonna make sure we get out all of that delicious cream. So, awesome. So what we do then is we place this on the stove on a low mm -hmm. to medium heat and we stir, stir, stir while the uh, muffins are baking so that it doesn't actually catch on the bottom and burn mm -hmm. um, and it will bubble. And awesome, so these were baking um, our little puddings for 15 minutes and what we did to test that they were cooked, we put a skewer into the middle. So we give them a little prick, prick, prick. Now one of them, as you can see, wasn't quite cooked so it has this like sticky kind of middle. So we just left that in for just a few more minutes. Um, now, once they're cooked, we just let them sit for a minute in the tray, um, give them a little twirl so we know their bums aren't stuck. Can I say that? To the tray. Um, and then, you know, you can use tongs, but I've got asbestos fingers. So um, I'm just gonna grab them out and um, very quickly, cause they're quite warm. Um, and pop them on the tray and that's done. So I'll pop that there. Now for service, what we're going to do is gonna get a nice little plate and um, we're going to put some of this yummy salted caramel sauce. It's absolutely delicious. Let it cool a little bit, it thickens up as it cools. So we're just going to put like a little pool of that on there. So we don't need too much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick out a nice big pudding. So it's a nice one here. We're going to place that on there, sit it on top. Um, and we are then going to get a spoon of cream. You can use whipped cream if you want. So we're just gonna, you know, put some on the plate. You can kind of make it zushi if you wish. And then I'm going to get a little bit of mint, so it's pretty. And we'll just pop that on the side and we'll get one of these delicious strawberries. And I'm just going to be a little bit arty. Where are we going to stick it? About there. Done. So there we have it. Sticky date pudding with a salted caramel sauce, lovely fresh cream, a strawberry. And what could make that better? Perhaps some ice cream. Mm-hmm. Oh, drooling. So just going to get a little bit of ice cream, nice vanilla ice cream here. And a little blob or two or three of that on there. There we have it. Delicious. <laughs> so, awesome.